everyone welcome back to nuskrit so in the last video we discussed about how filter function can work now we will extend our discussion on the filter function only right so in this particular video we will actually see like how we can make a use of filter function with custom objects when i say custom objects means the custom classes let's say for example if i want to create you know a person class if i want to create some student class so how can i actually perform that filtering thing on these custom classes right so we will what we'll do is basically we will create some class let's say student class okay so let me just create a student class class student and we will have let's say two three things in this particular class let's say for example student name then let's say we have a student roll number and then let's say we have let's say rank so we have three things the rank of a student the roll number and the name right now what we'll do is basically we will have to have some getter and setter uh, Uh, methods for this class so we can basically import them so i'm just pressing command n okay so just select all okay so we have like got the getters and similarly we can basically generate setters also so i have generated all the setter and getter methods so i'm doing this because if i want to print anything you know i can basically call setter and getter because they the variables are actually private right so you can only access them out of the class using getter and setters only now what i'll do is basically i'll create a list right so let me just create a list of student and i will have to import list right and let's say this is nothing but students is equals to new array list and now what i'll do is i will try to you know add some of the students into this list to create a new student i need to pass a few things for example let's say uh let's say ram the roll number is let's say maybe 45 and let's say the rank is let's say 3 right so these are the things that i have passed now this is giving me error because it is saying that the constructor does not exist right so you can see that we haven't really created any constructor so what i'll have to do is i'll have to create the constructor also and i will select all the attributes and there we got this constructor also now it will not give any error so i have created one student similarly what i'll do is i'll create a few cons few students right let's say i have created four students let's say with name let's say aisha son john and let's say shiv right okay so i have basically created five different students of a class with some roll numbers now what i want to do is i want to have some filtering options within these you know students right so basically right now i have got the list of students right so and you guys know already that we can perform filtering options we can have we can basically convert a list of a student to a stream of a stream of objects right so previously what we were doing is we were basically converting a list of a string into a stream of a string right now we have list of a student so we will have to convert it into a stream of a student right so what we can do is basically i will simply perform the same function uh right now we don't have list we have a students as a list so students dot stream so first of all i will convert this object list of object into a stream of object right and then thereby i can apply basically filter option now i can write any any logic over here right filtering option say for example i want to get a few students whose let's say rank is less than 3 right less than 3 so what i'll do is i'll basically say okay i will have to filter on each of the student okay so first of all i will have to write like this i will give it a predicate this is the predicate i am saying that okay each student in this string in this li uh, list basically and i want to perform some uh, you know condition on that so what i want to say is that student dot roll number not roll number basically student dot get rank so for each student i will first of all get the rank and i want to have some condition that if that rank is smaller than or let's say equal to 3 so just filter you know just filter my students on this particular rank like where the rank of the student is less than equal to 3 and once you filter this once you filter this this will actually return me a stream right this will give me the stream but which stream so you can see that stream is again you know you can basically create a stream of any object so this time it will give me the stream of student okay and the stream of a student and i maybe i can write a stream over here and now this is not giving me any error now once i got the stream i can basically have a for loop over here so for each now what i'll say is i'll say basically for each student that you have simply print this student print this uh student okay and because like uh, i am printing the complete student so definitely if i'll run this it will give me the object ids only 
not actually the content so for that i will have to import the two string method also so again let me generate the two string method also so two string method for all the attributes that i want that i have now if i run this again so this will give me the student actually now so you can see that we have got all the students whose rank is actually you know uh, less than or equal to three rank three rank one and rank two right i have got the roll number i have got the name and i have got the rank also now maybe like you could have done this also like instead of uh, these two steps uh, like inst instead of writing these two steps what could i have done is let me just comment them okay and instead of like receiving it in one of the object i could have directly applied this for each loop on this particular stream on this stream itself right on this stream itself and then i will not need anything else so let me make it a more clear more more readable i can do it like this so what i'm saying is that convert this student dot stream first of all convert the complete list into the stream then make some filter so after applying some filter it will still be a stream only but the point is that there will be some lesser number of objects as per our condition and now on this particular stream i am applying a for loop for each loop and then for each of the student i am printing right now if i run this once again you will see the same output right okay one more thing that i want to tell you is that this for each loop is enough intelligent because this for each loop receives some consumer right so right now you can see that this for each loop receives some consumer you really don't know about what consumer is but uh, we will talk about it later but uh, right now let me give you a context instead of writing like this instead of writing like this what you can say is that you don't do this let me just comment it right let me just comment the upper part okay let me comment it and now what i am saying is i am saying that instead of writing like this that for each student print it like this what you can do simply is you can simply say system dot out and then you print you basically add double colon and write the print method so what it will say is what does it mean is basically whatever you have in your stream whatever you have in your stream it will print the entire object and you can specify this particular thing like this now if i run this particular thing you will still see the same output you can see that you will still see the same output so that's how we can basically apply the filtering option on the stream of the students on the stream of any custom object right okay now if this part is clear so this 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 was basically nothing but this was uh, you know the custom object filtration right if you want to apply the filter on the custom object we can do it so uh, like we can uh, basically achieve it like this now let's see what filter chaining means is right filter chaining so what filter chaining means is that you can have a chain of filters okay so what do i mean by that that means if i want to apply multiple conditions if i want to apply multiple conditions i can do it in two ways the first way is that i want to have basically the student i want to have the students whose rank is let's say less than equal to 3 okay and and so this and condition can be applied in this case also and in this case also but i will discuss only one now you can maybe try for both like all three but what i may what i am saying is that this filtering option can have multiple you know conditions also so now i can have this and condition over here and uh, let's say i am saying that uh, okay the the output was uh, we will see the output and then accordingly we write the condition maybe like roll number okay so now i will say that the rank must be less than 3 and condition is and i'll say that student dot get roll number it should be let's say less than less than let's say less than or maybe let's say greater than 10 right greater than or equal to 10 so now what it will do is it will basically fetch out all those students who has less than who have less than uh, rank as less than 3 also at the same time their roll number is greater than equals to 10 right so now if i try to run this you will see only two outputs because now one rank was uh, removed because the one rank is having roll number as 2 and we are simply filtering only those roll numbers which are having less than sorry greater than equals to 10 roll number so this is how basically you can have multiple conditions maybe then you can have or condition also right and accordingly like this will filter out uh, the options for us one more thing that i want to show you is this particular thing doesn't mean filter chaining right filter chaining is something else so uh, what is filter chaining filter chaining means that if you have multiple conditions in your filter option you can basically apply multiple filters instead of doing like, like this so if i remove this and part and taking this condition separately i'll take this condition separately and what i'll do is i'll apply one more filter right and i'll say student hyphen like this 
okay so now what i've done is see try to understand this when you applied so initially you had a complete list of stream right whatever number of students you had they were in your stream right in the line number 65 now in the next line you applied one filter and you basically filtered three different ranks out of all five right out of all five you filtered three different objects now but it's still it's a stream it's, it's still a stream right it's still a stream of uh, objects with some lesser number of objects right again you are applying you are applying one more filter on that particular stream which were which was already filtered right now you can basically apply it multiple number of times right so i am again applying it now it is saying that out of all those three objects out of all those three objects that you filtered out of all three this condition should also be applied so initially when you had three three different objects now it will apply one more filter object which is 10 right which is like row number should be greater than equal to 10 hence that this aisha object will be removed from your list of filtered objects and thereby you will basically printing it so now let me run this let me run this so you will still get the same output right so this is known as filter chaining when you apply the filters separately for different conditions it is known as filter chaining so i think that's it for this video that i want to discuss in the next video we will basically bring out the concept of using map with a stream right so we will see like what map is why what map to int is why what flat map is so that's it from my side for this video bye bye